This is 1924 D. Lincoln Senate in MS-65 condition, initially certified by PCGS and approved by CEC thereafter. Iridescent pinkish rose and steel blue undertones pierce through an overlay of medium copper patina as the surfaces rotate under the light. Boldly struck throughout a very unusual characteristic of this often weakly defined date, a smooth satiny gem that makes a very positive impression on the eye. It ended up selling for $2,880. This is 1997 D. Lincoln Sense struck on a foreign planchet, graded as MS-65 read by PCGS. Neither Stacks Powers nor PCGS explained for which coin this irregular sized planchet was intended. Nevertheless, it must be slightly smaller than Penny Blank, as some letters of the motto are struck off the flam. Central reliefs are sharply struck, so it was sold for $192. This is 1970 S. Lincoln Sand from Small Date Variety, PR69 Red Deep Cameo, virtually pristine and surpassed quality for this popular Lincoln Sand variety in a PCGS holder. Serene surfaces are boldly cameoed in finish with deeply mirrored field supporting frosty design elements, fully struck as befits a method of manufacture with pinkish rose obverse color that yields to even more vivid reddish rose on the reverse. According to Stax Bowers, a little known fact about the small date variety of the proof 1970s is that it's easy to attribute by looking at the word liberty than at the date itself. On examples of these varieties, the letters in liberty weaken markedly from left to right. Here is 1983 P. Washington Quarter, broad struck and with partial brocage graded in mint state 65 by Anix. A brocage error occurs when a coin is struck with another coin or the same coin that has already been struck leaving an impression of one side of the coin on the other side. A partial brocage error means that only a portion of one side of the coin has been affected by the error. To determine the specific value of your Washington quarter with partial brocage error, it is advisable to have it authenticated and graded by a reputable coin grading service. This error quarter ended up selling for $168. Here is 1972 Eisenhower dollar in mint state 65 CC proven elusive gem with type 2 reverse. Lovely golden gray surfaces are luster, satiny, and exceptionally smooth in circulation strike Eisenhower dollar, irrespective of issue or variety. The 1972 type 2 ranks as one of the most Important condition rarities produced during the latter half of 20th century. Collectors actively seek examples in grades ranging from AU55 to Gem Mint State. This example was sold for $2,056.25. This is 1982 P. Canada dollar in MS67 plus condition. The 1982 P. Canada dollar is one of the scarcer issues in Gem condition. It is similar in scarcity to the 1984D and 1990D. The 1982P is common in circulated grades up to MS65 grade. In MS66 it's a little bit tougher but still easily available, with hundreds if not thousands still out there. In MS67 it now becomes very scarce. This gem was sold for $2925 with buyer's fee. And here is 1990P Canada of dollar struck 20% off center towards 11 o'clock, graded in mean state 66 by NGC. Error coins are coins that have some sort of anomaly or mistake in their production which can make them valuable to collectors. In this case, the error involves the coin being struck off center, meaning that the design is not properly centered on the coin, most likely due to die misalignment. This error half dollar ended up selling for $660. Here is 1945 D. Jefferson Nickel in mean state 68 condition with full steps. These delectable superb gem exhibits virtually flawless surfaces. The strike is razor sharp throughout, and there is not even a single detracting abrasion. Also beautifully toned, both sides are layered in soft pastel iridescence of sandy gold, pale pink, ice blue and mint green. Simply gorgeous. The surfaces are simply incredible in their preservation and are graced by delicate pastel hues. It was sold for $2,880. 1920 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 red condition. This is a breathtakingly beautiful example of both type and the issue that will serve as a highlight in the finest collection. 
lustrous light orange surface is retained full vivid color. The strike is full, the texture smooth and the satiny, and the eye appeal is nothing short of extraordinary. It was sold for $5,760. Here is 1943 P. Jefferson Nickel struck on a zinc coated steel planchet. Graded as AU55 by PCGS, according to Stax Powers, an originally preserved example with both sides exhibiting ruddy pewter and olive grey patina. The strike is flush to the upper left of worst border, lower left reverse border. The right peripheral device is mostly off the planchet. But the base of all four digits in the date is discernible to support PCGS 1943 attribution. Those design elements that are fully present are sharp, and the eye appeal is strong. Associated by the date with the famous 1943 bronze Lincoln senses, wrong planchet error is also desirable due to its brevity of the wartime silver alloy Jefferson Nichols series of 1942 to 1945. It was sold for $2,640. This is 1943 D. Jefferson Nickel in mint state 68 with six full steps on reverse. This is an exceptional 1943 D. Jefferson Nickel that represents a pinnacle of both state and historic wartime silver alloy type. It is magnificently toned with vivid pastel colors that deliver outstanding visual appeal, fully struck with six full steps and essentially perfect beneath the glass. It was sold for $2,400. 1979 Washington Quarter graded in mid state 68 plus by NGC. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the US mean struck about half a billion 1979 P Washington Quarters, making it a very common issue. It is fairly common up to MS66 condition. MS67 examples are very scarce. Anything grading higher than MS67 is considered rare. This MS68 Plus gem ended up selling for $2,822.62 with buyer's fee. This is 1964 D. Lincoln Sand struck on a silver dime planchet graded in a mint state 64 by PCGS. Well centered in strike, virtually the entire Lincoln design is evident despite the slight size differential between the scent dies and dime planchet. Only at the borders do we note a touch of softness, but even there, at least partial detail is evident to the design elements. Satiny and smooth with dusting of pale gold to otherwise light silver gray surfaces. It was sold for $1920. This lot includes set of two 1968S error nickels. First one is a mint state 64 red and is struck on a Lincoln cent, so called double denomination coin. The second one in mint state 65 red, struck on a cent planchet. This lot fetched the sum of $1,440. This is 1972 Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. Georgia's gold and pastel rainbow tones grace both sides of this premium gem. Lusters and fully struck is a fantastic piece for the registry collector. It was sold for $2,500. This is 1936 Lincoln Cent with double diverse, graded in mean state 65 red by PCGS. According to Stax Powers, a lustrous deep mint red example with bold golden red surfaces. The strike is sharp and as expected of the assigned grades, there are no serious blemishes noted. Doubling plane at date, liberty and all peripheral legends. One of the boldest of all double die varieties in numismatics. Not so bold as 1955 double die of birth scent, but not far off that mark. It was sold for $4,800. Another error penny here is 1972 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime dated 1964. Graded in mint state 63 by PCGS. Double denomination coin displaying shadowy impression of Roosevelt's head on obverse. Both dates are readily available. This error cent was sold for $7,200. This is 1965 Washington Quarter struck on a 90% silver planchet. PCGS assigned EU details as it comes with rim damage, a transitional wrong planchet error that's result of an old standard 90% silver planchet intended for the coinage of 1964, getting into the production cycle for 1965 or the 1965 coins that were to be struck on the new copper nickel clad blanks. Scarce and always in demand, it was sold for $5,040. Number 13, this is 1936 Lincoln Sand with brilliant finish, an elusive proof issue in PR65 red condition. 
Vivid surfaces are reddish orange on the obverse, slightly warmer rose red on reverse, universally mirrored and finished with a silky smooth appearance. This is a gorgeous gem example of the key issue in the modern proof Lincoln Sand series. It was sold for $2,760. Number 1, and this is 2001D Lincoln Scent milled with Roosevelt Time Reverse, graded in Mint State 65 red by PCGS. A mill is a coin struck from mismatched dyes. In the long history of US Mint, only a few dozen mills are known, and many are unique. Among the many mill possibilities in American numismatics, the Lincoln Scent Roosevelt Time mill is most likely to occur. The diameter for scent 90 mm and dime 80 mm are close, and both types have high annual mintage, often a billion or more pieces. Nonetheless, mules are great rarities. This illustrious fire red gem with noticeable contact, the upper half of obverse and the reverse field near the base of the torch, exhibit, distribute, minuscule, flex. It fetched a sum of $66,000 at auction. Here is 1956 Roosevelt Time in Mint State 68 with full bands. The obverse has an extraordinary display of blue, green, violet, and gold toning. The reverse is essentially all brilliant, with only faint powder blue toning at the border. It was sold for $5,520. This is 1958 Lincoln Cent in a 67 plus red condition. PCGS reported just 8 specimens in this high end grade, with none finer. This specimen displays distinctive lilac accents around Lincoln's head and the rich reddish-orange colors throughout the incredibly smooth, sharply struck surfaces. Eye appeal is just tremendous. It was sold for $6,300.